as soon as I landed I realised that you were still constantly in London and I was like I've got to see if I can make my dream happen because like I this is such a dream for me like if someone were to have said to me a week ago Ryan Taylor's gonna be shaking your hand in a week I'd have called him the biggest liar known to mankind Found good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. Today I've got a sick video going on, and this actually like what's going on? What's going on with your bike, mate? I mean, it's my bike, but it's technically like your, your I mean, company. Isn't it? It's out now, isn't it? It's out. Wow. Today's video brings me a lot of happiness because I mean, hopefully we get to do what I want to do today because what I want to do today is bring some positivity and bring some goodwill gesture to a guy that is less fortunate than myself. Basically I received um, a bunch of like stories and, and people messaging me on Instagram saying yo come and help this guy out, come and help this guy out and it's basically a guy that is currently um, living on the streets and he is He's in London and he's basically got a sign with a Certifam logo on his on his sign and a couple of people recognised him. Obviously the Certifam movement is real, you know, all day every day. Fortunate enough for him, I'm hoping so anyway. Fortunate enough for him, the people that recognised him put it onto me. I checked my messages, I checked the emails and I've seen that he has also reached out to me via email as well. He's asked me to do three things for him. Now, I'm not, I'm not showing you this video because, oh wow, well, I want to film someone that's hasn't got a home or want to do this for anything like I actually do this all the time anyway it's like a normal thing that I do if I see someone that's less fortunate than myself and I'm actually in a position where I can give something to someone else that can help them or better themselves and I can clearly see that they're not like using drugs or whatever like I will tend to help out these people just naturally today I want to make sure that we actually do that successfully and we give this guy exactly what he wants he said that he wants a bike from me he wants me to have a chat to him about some stuff for his future and he wants to start doing like a delivery service job on the bike to earn money to then get himself a home. So we're going to do that for him today. We're going to get things on the road and hopefully help this guy out and give him exactly what he asked for. So, so yo guys, check this. This is a C1 BMX Splatter, which is one of my favorite colorways of the black wheels. RT1 seat and this is the bike that my guy is going to be getting so I'm going to show you guys right now the messages that I received and, and all of this stuff because it's pretty crazy so yesterday what actually reminded me because I, I did actually see the email but I like someone called me and then I got distracted didn't carry on reading it or this is a normal thing that happens every day but then what really got me is one of the guys reached out to me on Instagram and basically sent me a picture of this you don't already know you're amazing Hope you have a good day. And he said, um, keep on smiling. Thank you. It's got a love heart and a sight hand logo. And then this message says, homeless guy at Blackfriars needs your help. He wants a bike to set up a delivery route. Could you please help him? Okay, so this, listen to me. No, carefully, listen to me. I don't do this for everybody. You can't just email me and ask me for a bike and I'll do it. I, I want it. If there's a story with this and there's a whole situation that comes with it, like, and if I can see that you want to get your, your story heard, I will document this and show other people on it because that's what this audience is for. I don't just have this to show you luxury lifestyle, this and that. Like, I don't just have it for that, innit? Like, this is, this is the Certi Fam and this is what we do. Sometimes crazy stuff, sometimes this stuff. And today I feel like giving back, so that's what we're doing. I know this is a long shot, but I hope you read this. My name is Connor, I'm 21 and I'm currently sleeping in a tent underneath Blackfriars Bridge on the north side of the river. I've come with a plan to change my life. One, get a bicycle. Two, start riding for delivery. Three, save money. And four, once I have, a, once I have the money sorted, I'm moving to somewhere. Now you might be asking why I've come to you. I've watched your YouTube channel for over a year now and your positive message has kept me going. Is there a way that you can donate a bike? It's the first step and something that I cannot financially fund right now. I will appreciate if you even read this message. Keep up the good work, dude, Connor. So I get so many messages from you guys that literally message me every single day. There, there's literally not a day that goes by that I don't get a message from people saying like, oh, like if it weren't for your videos, it weren't for this, like I wouldn't be where I am now. Like you doing your videos and you doing your uploads, it's kept me positive, it's got me out of a dark place, got me into a good place. People and mental issues is not a joke, people. Like, if you have mental issues, speak to somebody, please. Like, speak to somebody because 
You can speak to anybody. You can speak to me, you can speak to any of my people and any, any other member of the Certy fam. I know that for a fact. We are going to go and find this guy and I hope he's there today. Um, we're gonna have a, if he's not there, we're going to have a look around. We're going to find him. Today, we are going to find him. So, Connor, if you're watching this, either I found you today or I didn't find you today. But if you watch my videos, you're going to see that I was looking for you today either way. So, it's going to be a success. Certy fam. Let's go and find this guy and let's get him a bike and let's get him started. Let's have a little chat to him and see what he's up to, see what his plan is and see what he's going to be doing. Who knows? He might start doing towels and shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, this is just gas. I, I just, I literally love this shit. So, let's get it started, guys. Let's go. This video is for you, bro. Can I shake your... That, this is amazing. BMX is fresh, bro. Is it on, bro, yeah? Right, no, How is the on. levels, man? Now he's check on the, on the headphones, man. Bro, it means a lot that you support me so much. It means a lot that you took your time to reach out to me. Um, as I said previously in this video, this is not like your typical homeless video, give money, this, that, the other. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a big fan of those kind of videos, and I believe that, like, if you do something, do it genuinely. And as I've already said before as well, if I would have come across this guy without seeing the videos, without seeing the emails, I would have done this regardless. So here we are today, bro. It's honestly a pleasure to meet you. And this is a game changer. <laughs> Mentally and... And even just a little bit that you told me about yourself, like, bro, honestly, anything that I can do to help you and support you into the, into the place where, where you want to go and where you want to take things and what you want to be doing, even just sitting down here and having a drink together, like that, that, that for me, like taking a couple of hours out of my day to do this is not a big deal at all, bro. Like honestly, I, I really appreciate like, it, bro. Like, well, I mean, meeting you has made my year. Like, it didn't make my day. It's made my year. Tell them, tell them what you were doing one hour before you see me today. I was watching last night's upload south of the river uh, in Waterloo, and I come back north out of Boredom and I see my guy stood there and I was just like, Ryan Taylor. From when he said that, we were literally setting up the microphones to put the mic on me so that you could hear the conversation just in case I bumped into him. I literally said to Tail, I was like, bro, if we see him, let's, let's just put the mics on there. It's safe to put him on like, now. now's a good place. And I put him on and I felt the, bro, I felt the energy. I was just like, yo, hang on a second. Then as soon as I was even thinking that in my head, like, Ryan, you said, yo, Nuts. Unreal, man. Okay, so give me a little background on yourself. Give me a little bit of a background on yourself. Let me know where you're from, where you've been, what you're doing, what happened, and first of all, like, why is it that you're on the streets? If you're, if you're okay to talk about yeah, these things. Yeah. Well, as I've said, my name's Connor. I'm 21. I'm from Telford. I was a little fuck, fucker growing up, in and out of police custodies and cells and shit. And my mom kind of had enough of me and as soon as I hit 18, she gave me the boot. It was like, you're a man now, take care of yourself. And I just haven't found my place in society. And I got a job which came with empl uh, employment and living above. I was working in a pub and that all went under. So I was like, well, come back to London. I've got nothing to lose in Telford and I've just got more to gain here. And as soon as I landed, I realized that you were still constantly in London. And I was like, I've got to see if I can make my dream happen. Because like, I this is such a dream for me. Like, if someone were to have said to me a week ago, Ryan Taylor's gonna be shaking your hand in a week, I'd have called him the biggest liar known to mankind. Even to, even to hear those words, but even to, to be like, as if that's actually a thing, you know what I mean? Like, like the amount of people that I see with hand tattoos and normally it's roses and that, and like obviously yours is your staffy. And I was like, as soon as I realised I was shaking hands with Ryan Taylor, like my anxiety went through the roof, but it was great. Like this doesn't normally happen to people. Now you're a real one, bro. And, and honestly, like as I've said, anything I can do to help you, out, I will do it, and I'll make sure that like I'm from now. Like I'm following your journey through this. Like I'm, I want to see what you're doing. And with that being said, like you did say that you wanted to do three things, like and and I believe as as, as bad as things can be for people. 
also the best way out of these things can be to set yourself these goals set yourself yeah. these things and actually accomplish them mm. and that's how you get on through life you know what i mean so yeah. like what are the three things that you want to do bro like to get yourself back on track and, and what what is like considered back on track for yourself back on track in, in my eyes would be the typical life in society living inside having a job being able to do normal things. So you literally just want a roof over your head and want to just be working the, a regular the, job? When people ask me what do I need and I, I just need that break just to show that I, I'm not like the rest of them, I, that I, I want to work, I want to graft, I want to be a normal person in society and when I have people look down at me and they're like, they don't know how I've ended up here and they don't know what I'm trying to do to get out of the situation, it's... It's weird because some people look down and some people do give you the time of day and they give you the backing, whether it be verbally, emotionally or financially. Yeah, you feel like people always do something to obviously push into whatever it is. But it's also a thing where, like, especially in London, there is a lot of people that are homeless and then there's also people that are pretending to be also to do other things as well. So, yeah. so it's obviously a thing where people don't even know. There's so many people that go past and there's so many people that will just walk past. Oh, What's like the typical things that you hear every day when, when it is out? Well, when I'm here, because I've been here for so long and I've like sat on the same pitch for ages, like people know me by name, so like when, when people go to walk in Morning Connor, do you want any breakfast, do you want a hot chocolate or anything? So like in a sense, I've gained a bit of a reputation that's a positive reputation, and they know that I'm, I'm, the, I'm the lad that will never ask for anything. If people can give, people can give. If they can't, I understand that times are hard. And the fact that people do give me the time, of it, like yourself, like, mm -hmm. I never expected this to happen. Yeah. And even still now, like, you can actually, even though I'm Ryan Taylor and on this and that, you never know actually how hard times are. Like, people can put on such a face for them. They're in such a routine every single day. They go to work, they come back. And even if these people can be millionaires, they could be, have no, they could have no money, you know what I mean? Yeah. Having that, like, I, I was saying this about, like, mental health and all this stuff as well, it's a big thing I'm... I'm not going to put any names in there and say stuff, but like pretty much every week I'm, I'm speaking to friends, close friends, like professional athletes, all these sorts of things and just chatting to them just to like, I do try and check in on as many people as I can, you know what I mean? But like, you literally can't cater for everybody and that's honestly why I, I enjoy doing this video and I actually feel a pleasure in doing this and meeting yourself of course, but also doing this to let like people know that like you can actually reach out to somebody, you can speak to anybody you can. and if you can't actually get an answer from them doesn't mean that like you're never gonna get an answer it doesn't mean you should stop trying and it doesn't mean that you should give up on actually doing what you're yeah. doing in your goals yeah, we're gonna... so first things first what did you ask for in the email that you said that you needed from me to actually get yourself started and well, on the right track fr from the from the get-go I, I need a bike let me just give one second mate so we uh let me just bring this into frame right here. Collective C1. So this is my bike, I built this this morning. That's fresh. Collective C1 splatter. I wanna give you this bike. This is your bike to keep. I don't ever want it back. I don't ever wanna have anything back from you. I actually don't want anything in return. All I wanna see is you actually accomplishing your goals and you actually doing what you've said you wanted to do yeah. because that, that 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 pleases me you know what i mean i don't want no money for this there's no there's no other way that i would actually be happy with this other than giving it to you and allowing you to accomplish your goals bro like bro shit well this is step one complete of my three steps second step i start riding for delivery my goal of setting about two and two to three hundred pound a week and just live minimalistically we did a delivery job in it. How much did they earn in three hours? Like 18, 19 quid. And I was just, you were I was honestly slacking, bro. Like halfway through those three hours, I went and got food. I was chilling. <laughs> well, the, the, way, the way I see it is because I don't really bed down until like midnight. I can be up until silly o'clock delivering, and I can be up first thing when people don't want to get out of hotels but they want breakfast. So I can get where like people that live indoors can't get these rushes. Yeah, and you're about to be like satisfying a lot of people. And you know what I, I mean? I can just save and save and save, and as soon as I've got like a grand, I can approach any landlord and just be like, "Look, here's your month's rent, and uh, let me move in." And then from there, it's just the only way yeah, is up. Of I can continue with delivery, but then also approach 
bars, restaurants, anywhere that will take me on. You just get the ball rolling. That's exactly. What you want to do there's your bike. Step two is down to you yourself. You've already got things in place. Delivery. We actually have a bag at the apartment. So we're obviously going to stay in touch from this video. You are going to do everything yourself. You, I know you're an independent guy. You've been homeless for two years now, which is fucking phenomenal, bro. I could honestly never, I, I don't, I couldn't imagine myself ever doing that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I really couldn't do it. And the fact that you've done it for two years, that's fucking... That's just a positive mentality, and like, like I said next to you earlier, level, when I've level. been low and I've seen that you've had low moments in videos, but you've always seen a positive in bro, things. Bro, real shit, I don't put none of my low moments on the camera, so whatever low mo moments you've seen from the camera and you kind of feel bad for me, bro. It's, it, it's not the fact that I felt bad, it's the fact that I can relate to someone that is indoors, yeah. has, in a sense, what I'd see has got everything that he wants, yeah. and still have those low moments, but pull through it. And then you've got, I've met homeless people that have had one spout of depression and then turned to heroin. And, and you've never gone, you've never gone onto the drug. I smoke cigarettes, that nicotine is the only drug I'll intake. Because... Okay, so we do a deal then. Bike is yours, you stop smoking, you don't need to. Nah. This, if you feel like going to do something, you need adrenaline or you need to just fix... Go ride the bike bro, go do some tricks, go to some riding, go to the skate park, go again. Ride the bike, this... This is, this is yours bro, like that will be the fix for that. Deliver it and let's get it set up, get your roll on with that. I can make up, as soon as I get back to my tent and my phone's charged, yep. I can make a phone call and as soon as I've made that phone call, the ball's rolling. It's on. Just like that, just like that. This is, this is why I reached out to you, because I had these three solid steps. I was like, well he's either gonna read the message, play cool bullshit and just be like, nah, this is just someone that wants something, or he's actually gonna, in a sense, take that chance, come and meet me like you have, and... And even, yeah, even from the video, I hope that as you see the videos on the same in person, like, it's it's the same shit, like, the videos and the cameras, that don't do anything to me, bro, like, I am exactly the same person you see on the streets, without a camera, with a camera, like, it's me in it, like... Yeah, and, and, and that's what I, that's what I like is real, because you can, you can meet me when I'm begging, or you can meet me when I haven't got my bag on my back, and I am the same person. I don't change when I haven't got my bag because I think I can fit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still tell people, look, I'm rough, I live in a tent, but I'm trying. Yeah. And it's more than what most people are doing. And then what's number three? Number three, as soon as I'm indoors, I can start focusing on myself a bit more. And then build, then just build and build, build, and, and, build, build and build and build. So that three, three goals right there. Bike, and me come and bring the bike. Two, Start the account, get work and get money in, and three, roof over the head. And, and then, then life, progressing from there. Life and I, honest, I honestly feel, bro, from the struggles and from, from the stuff that you've already been through in yourself, if you keep the same hunger, bro, you keep the same mentality the whole way through, you're gonna be very successful, man. Like, I, I do believe that the struggles that people go through is what conditions you into being successful in this day and age. Not school, not education, and all this stuff. Like, Real it works life. for some people, it doesn't work for some people. I do believe that schools are very outdated. But obviously a lot of people do need them for that basic mindset to set them up and stuff but like you can be independent by yourself and you can do these things by yourself just like you are today and just like this opportunity as a, as a, as a rise now you know what i mean yeah and you know what actually as it stands as it stands now it's like you're actually unemployed huh? yeah i want to give you my hoodie can i swap my black one for that one hundred percent Technically, it's unemployed. This guy comes along. Not for long, bro. <laughs> 48, maybe 72 hours, if that. <laughs> this is unbelievable. You're doing it, bro. That's what happens. I mean, you have a goal, you have a vision. I now have my first piece of certified merch. I couldn't ever get it because I had no address to send it to. See, now, is he certified and unemployed or not? Nah? Look at that. <laughs> oh, bro. I think so. Honestly, like, I'm just, I'm just honestly excited to see your journey and follow you through this whole thing and watch you grow, bro. Like, we're going to stay connected. Um, I'm going to get you on the gram and stuff. And I don't wanna... But yeah, th this is the break I wanted. And the fact that I've got it from someone that I've foreseen as being one of my idols for years is even more unbelievable.
Well, like I said to you earlier, if you said if someone said a week ago, Ryan Taylor's gonna come and change your life, I'd have nah, it's not happening. The fact that we can get the camera, out, bro, and I can have someone stand in front of me and say that I've changed his life. I'm fucking speechless, bro. It's actually enough. Wow. Wow. To put a smile on someone else's face, it ain't that hard, you know what I mean? Look at that, bro. My guy, you know? This is radical. My guy, you know? Continually saying in his videos, this is a game changer. You just changed my game. In the last um, 30 minutes that we've spent together, just give me a little summary of what's going on. It's changed my life forever. Meeting you and knowing that you're going to help me progress in life is just amazing. Certified fan for life, my bro. Certified. Yes. I'm gassed. I am gassed. I'm gassed. Okay, today's the day then. You got work to do, bro. Yeah, man. You watching this video? This, oh, this guy, he's been homeless for two years. This is light work for him. He's got a bite now. He's about to get to work. About to go smash him with this. The third time we're going to keep track of everything. You're part of the family now, bro. That's what time it is. I'm going to see this on there. I want to just see you progressing, building. I'll keep track. Let's, um, let's shoot the update in a month. Yeah, man. I feel like a month's a good time to really get shit on track. I want to come find you in a month, bro. And I already know from seeing the look in your eyes, hearing your story, hearing what's going on, I know you're going to be on this shit, bro. Mate, I know you're going to be on. As soon as me and you shake hands and say goodbye, I'm going to go make this phone. Brother. I appreciate everything. Pleasure meeting you, bro, honestly. I'm, I'm so excited to see you go through this, bro, and I really, like, I genuinely mean that as well. And I can come and meet you on these rides. 100%. You pull up on the C1, bro. Pull up on the C1. Turn up on a C1 that I can genuinely be like, Ryan Taylor built. So this is my guy, Connor. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I'm going to put his Instagram right there, above his head. Look at that. <laughs> so make sure you follow him. Make sure you stay tuned. Stay locked in. Certainly found the movement is real, as you can clearly see from my guy, Connor, right here. Now from this guy's also right there, homeless for two years, and he's making it better for himself right now. And you're the start of my journey. You got calls to make, you better get cracking, bro. Yeah, man. You better get cracking. Wait, he's got work to do. Don't, don't get it twisted. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. You know what time it is. All day, every day.